Raphael Smadja, you are real estate debt head of French origination at Cheney Capital. Uh, thank you for joining us on BETV. Uh, thank you for uh, welcoming me. Uh, when Cheney Capital opened its new office in Paris last summer, uh, you mentioned that your group had 1.5 billion euros to deploy across Europe until the end of 2022. Uh, as we are soon entering the new year, uh, where do you stand with this goal? Um, I guess we've um, indeed mentioned that that target. Um, you know, there's we've invested quite a substantial amount of, of this, but we still have a substantial more to go uh, until the end of 2022. So um, our target has not really moved and we're still very much um, in train to, to achieve that goal and potentially do even more. Okay, uh, and, and therefore, um, maybe the question is, uh, at the moment, there are uh, numerous uncertainties uh, hovering over Europe's commercial real estate uh, uh, market, sorry, uh, and therefore, um, how has Cheney Capital adapted it, its uh, investment strategy? I would answer in two ways. First of all, I will obviously answer uh, by um, stressing the fact that we have a very selective investment policy and that we have very stringent underwriting criteria. Therefore, we uh, in periods with uh, such uncertainties, we obviously um, make sure that we make the right investments. Uh, so we're more selective in terms of um, the type of asset classes. So you mentioned offices, we will obviously be um, more careful when investing in the office sector. It doesn't mean that we will not invest in the office sector. We'll continue to invest in the office sector, but we will be more picky um, in terms of the uh, types of offices that we invest in. Um, uh, so that would be the same for all asset classes. Uh, we're unlikely to do, um, uh, let's say, uh, shopping centers um, because they've suffered quite uh, dramatically, but it doesn't mean we would not do High street luxury retail, for instance, we have some exposure in France and um, high street luxury retail, and we would continue to do so because despite the pandemic, we do think that it's a sector which um, is still going to be um, uh, valuable. Um, so I would that would be the first part of my answer. We are more selective, uh, more careful, but we still have appetite, very much so. And secondly, I would answer by saying there's uh, quite a substantial amount of um, opportunities created by the pandemic. Um, you know, as as usual, when there is a crisis, um, you know, certain lending um, actors can have um, uh, very general um, risk uh, policies, uh, whereby they would decide to, you know, their their decisions are very uh, general and and lack necessarily the the granularity. Um, and that gives us a lot of opportunities. So we've been quite active in the hospitality sector because we think that despite the pandemic, it's a very valuable sector and that it will perform hopefully after the, the pandemic. Um, and, you know, some of the banks have withdrawn quite substantially from that sector. Um, we have also seen uh, issues from an execution standpoint where some of the banks has, have been less um, efficient uh, when executing deals uh, with uh, a number of uh, processes which have been detrimental to their ability to actually execute loans and that has been that tendency has been increased by by the pandemic and we've and that, ha and that has created opportunities for us Okay, thank you. Uh, and you mentioned uh, that uh, you were uh, active uh, on the, the retail front in, in France. Uh, uh, that's, uh, I understand that it's uh, an example of your, uh, uh, of your exposition here. Um, what role do you see France uh, play in your strategy uh, and now that you have a, an office in Paris? I, uh, we, we are, our strategy generally is to cover the entire uh, Europe. So we have uh, um, uh, the largest exposure to our book, which is in the UK, and then we have, we have exposure to France, Spain, um, Portugal, um, and other um, European jurisdiction. France is um, going to play an important role in that strategy. Uh, we do not have um, 
a specific percentage of you know AUM that a specific country needs to represent. We want to have a, a diversified and balanced book, um, which we are uh, currently creating. Uh, so France will play an important role, um, that's for sure, because we see it as a stable uh, market um, with um, you know a very good, um, very good. Um, risk-adjusted return, so we will continue uh, to invest in France, but we will continue to invest in other jurisdictions as well, so. Yes, understood. Uh, well, that's uh, all the time we have. Uh, thank you very much for your time and for this insight, and thank you all for uh, joining us. See you soon on BETV. Thank you very much.